All right, guys, I wanted to go over um, today's, or I'm sorry, yesterday's uh, Google form because I noticed that um, quite a few of us need um, a little bit more practice with finding the main idea and details and the difference between the main idea and a topic. So I'm just gonna go through each one to um, help you guys for today's. I'm also going to schedule a Zoom meeting uh, to help everybody and explain the difference so that um, you guys will feel more comfortable and confident about um, completing today's um, work. Okay, so first of all, let's go through. It says match the term uh, to the correct definition below. A statement that tells what the passage is mostly about. A statement. Anytime you're talking about a statement, um, that is the main idea, okay? Um, you can see here, it tells you the answer key, la, 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 main idea. It's the main idea. The uh, The main idea is a sentence. It's, a st it's, it's usually found within the topic sentence, okay? But it's a statement. Um, it's not one or two words. It's a statement, okay? All right. Number two, the general subject of the passage. That is the topic, the subject. So when well, we're going to go down for the example passages today, the topic is Atlantis, one word, okay? Um, it's the general subject of the passage. Now, it, both of them are specifically about Atlantis in different ways, but the topic is still Atlantis. Okay, number three, narrow ideas, evidence, and examples, okay? Um, evidence and examples are things that tell you more about the main idea. So those would be supporting details. That's the evidence that tells you more about whatever it is the author is trying to teach you or tell you. The main idea is what the author is trying to teach you or tell you. Supporting details give you details to tell you more. Number four, a sentence in the passage that states the main idea. A sentence that states the main idea is called the topic sentence. Um, that's the sentence. Remember I told you guys, many times it's going to be in the beginning, um, but not always. Sometimes it's in the end. Uh, it's at the end of the passage. But many times that very first sentence, first or second sentence, is the topic sentence. And inside the topic sentence, that's where you're going to find the main idea. Number five, after determined after reading a passage. Um, what is determined after reading the passage? I did say in yesterday's video that you do need to read the whole passage before you should determine the main idea. So um, you read the whole passage and then you determine what is the main idea. So what is the passage mostly about? What's a statement that is what the passage is mostly about? Usually in one or few words, that is the topic, okay? The topic is in one is one or two words. It's just a couple of words that's going to tell you um, what the passage is about. Okay, so now we're going to go down here. Um, it says read the passage below, then decide whether each statement describes a topic, the topic sentence, the main idea, or a supporting detail. So I'm gonna read it to you and then we're gonna go through each one because I had quite a few people that need some help. So around 350 BC, a Greek philosopher and teacher named Plato wrote about a beautiful island in the Atlantic Ocean. He filled two books with the history of this place called Atlantis. In these books, he described the people of Atlantis as the great engineers and architects. Plato said that they built stunning palaces, exquisite temples, and huge statues made of gold. At the center of Atlantis was a capital, city surrounded by several moats. There was an elaborate tunnel system where boats from the ocean could reach the city center. Outside the capital, there were wide open fields where the farmers grew the city's food. Over time, according to Plato, a very modern society grew corrupt. As a result, the gods punish the citizens of Atlantis. And one day, in one day and one night, the city sank under the ocean waves and vanished forever. Okay. 
Around 350 BC, Plato, a Greek philosopher and teacher, wrote about a beautiful island in the Atlantic Ocean. Is that the topic, the topic sentence, the main idea, or supporting detail? Hmm. Well, I know it's not the topic because the topic would be one or two words. Um, it's definitely not a supporting detail because it's not really, it's not telling me something about the main idea. So it's probably, be, it's between either the main idea or the topic sentence. And it is the topic sentence. So we notice um, it's, it's the first sentence around 350 BC, a great, a Greek philosopher and teacher named Plato wrote a beautiful island wrote about a beautiful island in the Atlantic Ocean. So that's the topic. So that's telling us, that's the sentence that tells us what the main idea is. Is that Plato wrote a book about Atlantis. So the main idea is Plato wrote a book about Atlantis. And uh, this is the topic sentence that tells us that. Okay. Number eight, Atlantis. Is that the topic, the topic sentence, the main idea, the supporting detail? Well, isn't the entire passage about Mm, let me guess, Atlantis? Yes, it is. Is that one or two words? Hmm, yep, yes, it is. That's the topic. Now, we know that the main idea is that Plato wrote a book about Atlantis, um, but the topic is Atlantis itself. Number nine, at the center of Atlantis was a capital city surrounded by moats. Hmm, is that telling us more about Atlantis? Yes, it is. Ding, ding, ding. You got it. That's a supporting detail. Why? Because it's telling us more about the topic, Atlantis. The city of Atlantis was written, uh, was written about by Plato. As written about by Plato was a mythical island believed to have sunk to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. Hmm, does that tell us more about the topic? I think it does. So that would make it a, you got it. The Oh, I'm sorry, the main idea. So the city of Atlantis is written about by Plato was a mythical island believed to have sunk at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. Oh yeah, that is one that, are, that a lot of people messed up. Um, so the main idea is that it's a book written by Plato. And what is it? It's Atlantic. Atlantis is an island that sunk, that's believed to sink. So that is the main idea. The main idea of that whole paragraph here, this whole thing is that um, Plato wrote a book about it. And he wrote a book about this island that people think is not real. So that is the main idea of the whole thing. So a lot of people um, missed that one. Uh that one is number 10 is, um, in fact, the main idea. All right. Number 11, Plato wrote a book about the city of Atlantis. That is a supporting detail. Um, so, again, the main idea is that um, he wrote about that it's a mythical island and that it's sunk to the bottom of the ocean. Um, and he wrote a book about it is a supporting detail. Okay, so here we go. Fact or fiction? Uh, what is the topic of this passage? So what is it about? Is it about the Greek island of Santorini, the theories about Atlantis, or Ignatius Donnelly? All of which are mentioned, but the whole entire paragraph is about the theories of Atlantis. So all these different guys that are mentioned in here. So it mentions, let's see, this guy, Angelos. Oops. The, uh, then the other guy, Ignatius, where is he? Or up here. Um, and then it even mentions Plato again. They all had a theory about Atlantis. So the topic is theories about Atlantis. Which sentence from the passage could be the topic sentence? The correct answer is C. Neither of these could be considered the topic sentence. Um, that is a tricky one. Um, why could neither of these be? Because this is talking about he's an expert on flood history. Um, and this one is, however, the dates, however, his dates do not match up with that of Plato. So those are actually both supporting details. Those are not um, the topic sentence. If I go back up here, the topic sentence would be this first sentence. For over 2,000 years, Atlantis was just a story. In the late 1800s, 
However, an American man named Ignatius Donnelly became enchanted by the story, and he wrote his own book about, about it. So basically, it's that for over 2,000 years, people thought it was just a story. And then these guys are proving that it's real. State the main idea of the passage. Here we go. I just did that. Um, in the 1800s, experts attempted to explain how Atlantis could have been a real city and not just a story. So the main idea is that in the 1800s, people are people experts tried to prove that it was real. If you had something about that, it doesn't have to be exactly the same, but if you have something about that that people were trying to prove that Atlantis is real or experts or three people tried to prove that Atlantis was real, that um, would be, I would have given you credit for that. All right. Three details in the passage that support the main idea. So if we go back up here, we said that um, the main idea is that um, experts are trying to prove that Atlantis was real. So the first thing that I could say is that um, Ignatius Donnelly became enchanted and wrote a story about his book, a story, he wrote his own book about it, um, that he was an expert on flood history and he thought that Plato might have uh, written about a true natural disaster. So that he thought that Plato might have written about a true natural disaster would be um, the first detail. The second one was that um, this guy, he speculated that a massive volcano actually ripped apart um, the Greek island of Santorini. So he's saying that he thinks that's what destroyed it. So the first one says he thinks it was a flood. The second one says he thinks it was actually a volcano. So that's the second um, thing that detail that would prove that they, that it's a real place and how it got destroyed. And the last one was that um, the dates don't match up to those of Plato. So he thinks that um, when translated, the dates were incorrect. And that's why people think it's not real. So he you think it is actually real. It's just the dates got mixed up when they translated them. So those are the three details that you should have. Detail one, detail two, detail three. Uh, which of the following details from fact or fiction does not support the main idea? And that would be C. Galapagos was appointed to be the national representative of Greece. Well, while that's cool, that really has nothing to do with whether Atlantis was real or not. Um, it just shows that he was an important dude, which is cool, and it makes you believe him more, but um, it's an extra detail. All right, modern day beliefs. Today, Atlantis is an unsolved mystery that is the source of much speculation. Some people question the exact location of the lost city. Some guess it lies off the coast of Florida. Others believe it rem the remains would be somewhere near Central America, the China Sea, or Africa. Still, others believe Atlantis is nothing more than a story. They say society, they say a society with such an advanced technology could not at least exist so long ago. What is the topic sentence of this paragraph? The topic sentence of this paragraph is the very first sentence. Today, Atlantis is an unsolved mystery that is the source of much speculation. That first sentence is, in fact, the topic sentence. It tells you exactly what the, um, the paragraph is about. It, it means that people, it's a source of much speculation. That means people are still arguing about it. Some people think it's real. Some people think it's not. Which of the following details would support the main idea of the paragraph? Hmm. That would be A. Non-believers suggest that Atlantis is simply too perfect to have been real. So um, this supports the main idea, which is that a lot of people are going back and forth whether it's real or not. That would support that what non-believers think. And then the last one is, why do you think, what did you think? Um, a lot of you thought it was real. It was kind of mixed. It was like 50-50. All right. I am going to hold a Zoom to, today um, that to help everybody with the difference between these. Um, I will even pull up the um, form again to help everybody. So please join if you have questions about the difference between topic, main idea, and supporting details. Uh, Thank you, and I hope to see you guys all there.